So Dr. Robert Morse was banned from YouTube. And then he has this other post that says he's back on YouTube. When I clicked on it, it led to his website. So it doesn't seem like he's back on YouTube, but he's back to making videos on his website. After 12 years, 173,000 subscribers and 14 million video views a day has sadly come. On October 13th, 2023, YouTube decided to terminate Dr. Morse's YouTube channel. In response to our appeal, they stated the decision was final. We were prepared for this to happen. And that's why drmorse.tv exists. All that's missing now is our amazing YouTube community joining us. So if you were subscribed to the YouTube channel but not drmorse.tv, now is a great time to join us where Dr. Morse can speak freely. We would deeply appreciate if you share this information in drmorse.tv link with your friends, family, and on social media, and let's become a bigger and more independent community than ever before. And let me say that I am not upset at all about Dr. Morse getting banned from YouTube. Ever since I saw that video where he... Some of these posts look really skinny and way older than others. I don't know. But um, there was a post that he had. It was years ago. It was a much older post. But he was suggesting, not even suggesting, he was saying that I don't even know if I want to repeat it because I don't want them to come for me. You know, uh, coconut milk or the basically the liquid from, I don't know how they make it. Do they blend up the coconut and strain the liquid out? Yeah, he was saying that that is a, replacement for baby formula. I'm scared to even say that one. <laughs> but yeah, the sentence that I just said is completely inaccurate and false. It, in no way, shape, or form is an adequate replacement. Babies need very specific things and vitamins that are not found in coconut milk. So therefore he was up there on YouTube saying dangerous information. And so it's a good thing that he was banned from YouTube. Eight twenty-seven p.m. Saturday, October twenty-first. Why is it always so easy to find vegans once again killing their own children? At least we have some good news from vegan deterioration. Dr. Moss will no longer be on YouTube. And uh, hopefully this guy will be in jail too. And I honestly think YouTube has to scour the channels and throw all these vegan quacks off of YouTube before more people. everyone so i'm a little bit late to this announcement but i did want to make a quick video about this robert morse's youtube channel has finally been deleted for those who don't know robert morse is a person who has been posing as a naturopathic doctor on youtube on facebook and in florida for years now he had about 200,000 subscribers here on youtube 
Actually, the first video on this channel is about Robert Morse and how all the qualifications he claims to have are from diploma mills and fake schools. He's not a doctor or anything. Please, 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 Dr. Marks, talk about vitiligo. And this is a 23-year-old. She has vitiligo for four years now. All right, so we you know, automatically know that the pituitary controls the skin pigmentation, and so you know this is a pituitary problem. So uh, definitely a couple of things you want to think about when you have vitiligo, and that is you've got to think just like everybody else. First of all, I've got to get my body alkalized, I've got to get my body hydrated, I've got to get this lymph system filtering through my kidneys, i got to get all the congestion out of my sinuses, out of my bronchs, out of the walls of the bowels.